eventually it's going to be moving over towards the east into parts of Utah as well as into Salt Lake City. But we take you back in time and look how that rain really came down impressive right along Arizona as well as even into Nevada. Over to you, Mark. And storms are going to continue along the East Coast as well, but some areas will dry up over the next few days. Coming up next, see what you're in for. Dry days or more storms coming up in your seven-day forecast. Plus, we're checking in with Butler, the Weather Channel's therapy dog, as he visits Pilger, Nebraska. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm or two this evening, otherwise partly cloudy. Low, 76. Chance of rain, 30%. Here's our seven-day outlook. can take 24 hours to work. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. For relief without the wait, try Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Will new Twizzlers mix berry bites ever end their rivalry with new Jolly Rancher filled gummy bites? Not today. Bites. Little greatness. Let's tackle this with a splash of style. Let's do modest budget, major makeover. Then enjoy the view. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. For a limited time, these vanities start at just 189 bucks. Do you remember the hassle of vacuuming before the Dyson Digital Motor? Before it gave the DC-59 Motorhead powerful suction and perfect balance in your hand for cleaning those difficult to reach places? And before our direct drive cleaner head increased brush bar power by 75%, DC-59 Motorhead out cleans the five best-selling full-size vacuums across carpets and hard floors without the hassle of a cord. How about over there? Let's run. What does it mean to have an unlimited mileage warranty on a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz? What does it mean to drive as far as you want for up to three years and be covered. It means your odometer is there to record the memories. During the Mercedes-Benz Certified Pre-Owned Sales event, now through September 2nd, you'll get complimentary prepaid maintenance and may qualify for a two-month payment credit. Only at your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer. Oh no, you're always dropping things into the black hole between the seat and console. They fall under the seat and out of reach on the floor. Not anymore. Introducing Catch Caddy, the revolutionary car seat caddy that sits between the seat and console to catch things before they fall into the black hole. Cell phones, jewelry, cash, coins, french fries, and more. Catch Caddy grabs them all before they fall to the floor. Catch Caddy is ultra flexible with a one-size-fits-all design that slides right in to fit securely beside any seat. And it's sleek black design makes it very discreet. Simply slide out the sleeve and retrieve. It's that easy. Catch Caddy is super pliable to fit the contour of any seat, and it slides with the seat when adjusting for any driver. It's completely washable, so it cleans with just a rinse. And it's designed with storage in mind. Store your phones, chargers, roadmaps, electronics, and so much more to keep what you need within your reach and off the floor. I love my Catch Caddy. When I accidentally drop fries or any kind of food in between the seat and the console, it's so easy to pull it out, take it to the trash can, and I absolutely love it. Through the years, it's gotten a lot harder for me to crawl around in the car looking for something that's fallen under the seat. But with Catch Caddy, I don't have to. Everything is at my fingertips. I love it. 
Stop losing stuff in that black hole between the seat and console and get not just one, but two cash caddies for just $10. But wait, if you call now, we'll double the offer and send you a second set of cash caddies for a second car or to give as a gift. And the second set is yours free. Just pay separate processing and handling. You get one, two, three, four catch caddies in all. A $40 value all for just $10. Catch, store, and so much more with Catch Caddy. Here's how to order. To order Catch Caddy for $10 plus processing and handling, call 1-800-931-2383. That's 1-800-931-2383. Or order online at catchcaddy.com. Call or click now. Welcome back to Weather Center Live in the Northeast. Man, day after day, you've seen these storms. And you know what? Unfortunately, the storm threat is going to continue here at least through midweek. This stalled out front along the coast, pulling moisture up and over that front. And we have our next system coming in. So it's really a one-two punch of messy weather across the Northeast Corridor. If you love the rain, this has been the forecast for you as that moisture is still going to be in play. In fact, right now, we have one of those uh, old fronts off the coast, area of low pressure moving through the Canadian Maritimes. We've been watching this kind of batch of rain rolling across northern portions of the Northeast Corridor. So right now, some of the heavier rains have fizzled out a bit. We're not uh, any longer seeing that heavy rain from New Hampshire into Maine, but some light rain uh, kind of going from Canada across northern Maine. If you're traveling north on 95, north of Bangor, you will run into some of these showers as we go through the rest of today. So scattered showers, maybe even some thunderstorms, and any storm that does fire up today or tomorrow could have some very heavy rain. So you got to watch out for some flash flooding here because it has been days of rain. The White and Green Mountains, for example, you get some of that extra lift because of the mountains there, Jen, and you could certainly see some flooding concerns. In Boston, showers today, a break Tuesday, and then storms again on Wednesday. Over to you. All right, thank you, Mark. Well, once again, the Weather Channel's therapy dog is helping bring smiles to the faces of those devastated by severe weather. Well, this time, Butler visited the town of Pilger, Nebraska. If you remember, Pilger was home to the twin tornadoes that touched down back in June. Well, Butler and his handler, Amy McCullough, with the American Humane Association, decided to stop by for a visit. Butler's here in Pilger, Nebraska. He's on his second official mission as the Weather Channel therapy dog. He's here to bring comfort to those who are impacted by an EF4 tornado that hit in June. I'll see him a little bit later, okay? Hi, Butler. I'll see you soon. I like Butler. You're so pretty. I remember when you guys were getting Butler. So it, it's kind of a privilege for me to, to be able to touch Butler and, and pat him because, you know, he's a celebrity. Hi, Butler. Come here, baby. Come here. I think the therapy animals are really good for something like this. Have that stick. Here you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a very good dog that listens to mostly everything. Oh, good job. Since the tornado, people had very sad faces, but when they saw Butler, oh, baby, but it made them have happy faces that he is okay. We had hockey faces since. Butler has been so warmly welcomed by the people of Pilger, and we're grateful to have been invited. Thank you. We hope that he's been able to provide some comfort to people in their time of need. With the Weather Channel, I'm Amy McCullough with Butler. Yeah, absolutely. We love to see that happening. A dog can bring joy to just about anybody out there. All right, let's look at the seven-day forecast. And a lot of people, well, you're going to be needing some joy because rain is going to be coming down today. You get the idea across parts of the southeast, south, southern parts, including Florida, over towards the west. We continue with that monsoonal rain out there, and it's been coming down incredibly in some of these parts more ahead. As we look at the northeast, New England, looking at some leftover rain there, temperatures in the 70s and the 80s, not looking at anything severe today. We jump ahead through tomorrow, adding in that threat for severe weather. You can see it right across parts of the plains as well as into the Midwest, uh, setting up for parts of South Dakota, Nebraska, as well as into Missouri. Notice more of that rain, but that upper level low with the monsoon. It's going to be sliding over to the east a bit more, still keeping temperatures in the 80s. And of course, we'll be tracking Bertha, but notice it is not going to be making direct landfall. I want to point out to you, still holding on to some of that rain. 
tomorrow as we're going to be looking at that stationary front right along the coastal areas of the Carolinas and also some rough surf and that's going to continue to Wednesday as well and look at rain in the northeast and all across the northern tier. Right now we send it over to Mark. And we're watching the tropics too. Hurricane Bertha gaining strength in the Caribbean. Next we'll tell you if we'll see any effects from the storm along the east coast of the United States. That's what we're watching in your tropical update coming up after this. Need new tires? At Pep Boys, our Tires Made Easy process matches your vehicle with a tire that's just right for you. And right now at Pep Boys, when you buy three select tires, you'll get the fourth tire free. Trust the boys to get you there. Hey, Super Mama. You gotta check out this Walmart back to school event. Okay. A Toshiba Touch laptop, just $349. Sounds good. Super comfy boy socks, only $497. Oh, I definitely need socks. Sharpie permanent markers, only $397. That sounds good. Wow. A 10 inch tablet with a built in keyboard. That sounds good. Get to Walmart's Back to School Savings Event, August 1st through 10th, and save even more on Cyber Monday, August 4th. Save money, live better. Walmart. Infinity. Stay connected to more of what you love. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm or two this evening, otherwise partly cloudy. Low, 76. Chance of rain, 30%. Here's our seven-day outlook. is the first carpet cleaning service to be certified by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, eliminating an average of 94% of common household allergens like dust, pollen, and pet dander for a cleaner, healthier home. Certified. It's our new standard of clean. Call now about our $99 carpet cleaning special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, your certified cleaner. Waves don't care what age you are. Take them on the way you always have. Live healthy and take One A Day Men's 50 Plus, a complete multivitamin with seven antioxidants to support cell health. Age, who cares? We're the places you call home when you're away from home. 12 brands, more hotels than anyone else in the world. Like Wyndham, we're awaiting your arrival. Save up to 25% and earn bonus points when you book at WyndhamRewards.com. Okay, buddy, aim it at us. There you go. So, it's KFC night. Yay! Last week we hosted. Yes, this week the kids invited us to their place. Hmm. Sorry I was late. I had a little trouble with the rope ladder. He fell twice. But look at all this food we got. Yeah, we got this delicious KFC meal, and they threw in two extra sides for free. For free. And I love what you've done with the drapes. Are those your bed sheets? <laughs> Geico's been helping people save money for over 75 years. They've really stood the test of time, much like these majestic Rocky Mountains, which must be named after the rock. That would be Rocky the Flying Squirrel, Mr. Gecko, sir. Obviously. Ah, uh, come on, Bullwinkle. They're named after... Uh, First President George Rockington. That does... Awesome is watching Ray Donovan here. We did what had to be done. And the biggest hit movies here or even here. Anywhere you want, anytime you want. This is awesome. This is Showtime on Xfinity.
Get your favorite series and movies with Showtime. Plus, add digital preferred TV and get over 60 additional channels. Upgrade now for $14.99 more a month for 12 months. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Stop paying expensive repair bills now. When you own a car, SUV, or truck, sooner or later, it will break down. Just one transmission job could cost over three grand. A new engine could cost over four grand. If you own a 2002 vehicle or newer with less than 125,000 miles, a vehicle service contract from CarTection.com could save you thousands of dollars. Call for a no-obligation risk-free quote now. 800-463-7603. 800-463-7603. Preferences and locking in today's prices. Request your free burial planning kit now. Mondays, only the Weather Channel takes you this far inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, premiering August 18th at 9 on the Weather Channel. 50 past the hour, which means it is time for your tropical update, and there's a lot to talk about. We're going to start off for the East Coast here with Hurricane Bertha. Now a hurricane just about an hour ago upgraded from a tropical storm. The hurricane hunters in the area uh, estimated winds close to 80 miles per hour. So that's the top wind speed now, 80 miles per hour. Pressure has come down one millibar, still moving north at 17. So that's the latest stats on our tropical system here. Here's the latest view. The enhanced satellite not looking as impressive as even an hour ago. You notice all those bright reds have really fizzled out. It was more symmetrical too, kind of a rounded look early in the loop, now more jagged. These are signs that maybe this system not quite as organized now as it was, but there are these kind of loops and cycles, so we'll have to keep monitoring it. This is not the final time we'll look at Bertha, that's for sure. You notice all these bright colors off the East Coast. This is not a tropical system. This is an old front. Trough of low pressure came across the eastern U.S., responsible for the kind of cool rainy conditions we've been seeing and this stationary front you're kind of sad it's there because it's been raining on your beach plans but you're glad it's there because this is going to be pushing away our tropical system as it rotates around that subtropical high the bermuda high it's going to be going north and eventually east and away from the eastern seaboard still a strong storm halfway between the u.s and berth and, and bermuda 80 or 75 miles per hour then over the next several days a quick weakening trend a real fast uh, increase in forward speed as well as we head towards the weekend in the North Atlantic. The waves are going to be a big feature, though. Even though we're not looking at a direct impact towards the East Coast, wave heights will be very impressive, two to five feet, if not five to eight feet, just off the coast. And, of course, we have to go to the Pacific Ocean. This is Hurricane Izell, a Category 4. And, Jen, look at this thing. It is just absolutely the picture-perfect image of a hurricane, this one heading towards the Hawaiian Islands. Over to you. Yeah, absolutely. That's a beast there, and it looks really good on satellite. Well, it's been almost 25 years since Hurricane Hugo, a Category 5, actually at one point made landfall in the U.S. as a powerful Category 4 in Charleston, South Carolina. Before landfall, it nearly took out a NOAA Hurricane Hunter plane as it flew into the eye. I'm Jeff Masters. I was the flight director, also called the flight meteorologist on the Hurricane Hugo flight. Jeff, hey, Jeff. Good to see you, Good to see you. My name is Jim McFadden. I'm the manager of the heavy aircraft during the hurricane season. Let's go take a look inside the plane. I haven't seen it for all these years. My name is Alan Goldstein. I was an electronics engineer on the Hugo flight. This is the plane. It's still here, still flying. We caught it at exactly the wrong moment. We were the first plane in and we caught it at the only six hour period it was a Cat 5. Incredibly well, bad timing. I thought that it was okay to go into Hugo at 1500 feet. And I took one look at the radar image and said to myself, no, we do not want to do this. That headset was not available for me to announce to the crew, let's break this off. As soon as we hit the eye wall, we knew we were in trouble. I was very worried. I was saying my goodbyes, saying a little prayer. And we hit seven seconds of the most incredible turbulence anyone had ever experienced and survived in a hurricane hunter flight. And then we started getting a lot of side-to-side -side turbulence. I started praying. I felt, you know, this is what it's like to be in the war and people shooting at you. You know, this could be my final moments. During the course of flying through the eye wall, the number three engine had a problem with fuel and we had to shut it down. So here we're in the eye with only three engines running. The pilot is struggling to keep the plane uh, under control. We're 800 feet in the eye of a Category 5 hurricane. 
We barely made it in on four engines. We only had three now, maybe going to go down to two. We were going to have a lot of trouble getting home. But the pilot pulled us over a little bit harder into a really ferocious bank angle to keep us, you know, inside the eye. And then we finished that turn, and then we were able to level out inside the eye after that. We spent an hour and a half in the eye circling, burning fuel, uh, so we could get light enough and high enough. So we climbed up and went out about, I think, 9,000 feet thereabouts. A uh, fairly soft spot that I understand the Air Force found for us. Certainly the most intense experience of my life. Tough on the body, tough on the psyche. And uh, when it all comes to rest, and you're very thankful that it's over. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm or two this evening, otherwise partly cloudy. Low, 76. Chance of rain, 30%. Here's our seven-day outlook. To bring you today, our team is tracking Hurricane Bertha in the Atlantic. We're watching for the potential U.S. impacts. Plus, in the Pacific right now, two systems are moving toward Hawaii. We're tracking the tropics like nobody else can, right? Oh, absolutely. Lots to watch there. Plus, back in the States, we are keeping you ahead of another day of thunderstorms. Which areas could see more torrential downpours and flash floods over the next 24 hours? Good Monday to you. It is August 4th. Thanks for watching. We are Weather Center Live, and I'm Jen Delgado. And I'm Mark Elliott. And you know what? It was the tropical storm that could over the weekend. Right. The system weakened a little bit Saturday, only to pick up steam again today. And the Caribbean took a bruising from now Hurricane Bertha. Yeah, Hurricane Bertha. And you're looking at video of Bertha. And what we're going to be looking at is showing you the winds actually battering to Torla. This is in the British Virgin Islands, as well as in Lavanga okay and bringing with it waves with really some beneficial rainfall you're looking at the waves right now over Lavango K in that area all of those areas were desperately needed precipitation in some of these spots they actually picked up about five inches of rainfall and the storm packed wind gusts over 55 miles per hour here so let's take a look at the latest advisory right now located 230 miles east northeast of Great Abaco Island the winds 80 miles per hour we do know now this is a hurricane that's from the latest advisory uh, just about an hour ago, moving to the north at 17 miles per hour, and the forward speed continues to pick up, but eventually we're going to see it moving to the northeast. Isn't that right, Mark? Yeah, that turn away from the east coast, and we can actually show you why we're going to see that turn away from the east coast. But again, another overview of the current status of this storm. Here's the center right under our number one symbol. Winds at 80 miles per hour, pressure at 998. That's one millibar lower than earlier today, which is one indicator of strengthening. However, we also have some indicators of not so much strengthening going on. Let me show you. You see earlier in the day where we had this kind of ball of big red round thunderstorms right over the center. Now further north, much more jagged, much kind of cooler colors. We're not seeing those bright red cloud tops. Those are the tall thunderstorms, the strongest thunderstorms. We're no longer seeing that big burst of convective energy right over the center of our storm. So this is suggesting we might not have as strong a storm as we had earlier today. But of course, the hurricane hunters are out there. We're using satellite imagery and estimates of the waters and the kind of the 
foam on the water to estimate the winds. And so we'll be giving you updates all day long right here on the Weather Channel with Bertha. But remember that north to northeast turn, it's actually because of this feature. You see this old front, all this convection, all the flooding rains we've seen towards the southeast. It's ruined plenty of beach days, but it's going to be pushing our storm away. So there is some good news to that rain for the east coast. Still a strong storm uh, near hurricane strength, but through much of Tuesday, according to the forecast right now, then we see the storm really get out of town quickly by Wednesday morning and into Wednesday afternoon and Thursday morning, entering the Canadian Maritimes and right on through the weekend, the steaming uh, full speed ahead there across the Atlantic and losing some of its oomph as well. That said, between that front along the East Coast and our rotating uh, area of low pressure, we will have some rains towards the coastal areas. So that is something to watch for from Monday into Tuesday, that enhanced rainfall for the Southeast. Otherwise, you have to watch out for the wave action because you don't need the center to go right near the coast to see the waves. So two to five, if not five to eight foot waves right on through the next several days for the East Coast. Jen, over to you. Yeah, those are some impressive waves out there. So despite the fact it's not going to have a direct impact on the U.S. making landfall, it's still going to provide some dangerous conditions out there. And we look at the beaches right now. Here's Myrtle Beach. Here is Kill Devil Hills and Miami. And none of the areas are looking sunny out there. You can even see for Kill Devil Hills. It's getting dark out there. Yeah, that's a sign of stormier times to come. And it's going to stay stormy across parts of the southeast and has been over the last several days. We ended July on a wet note. We're starting off the same way. Look at some of those totals. Nearly four inches across parts of North Carolina. And that's why we have the flood watches in place because the ground is just so saturated out there from Myrtle Beach all the way up towards New Bern. So heads up for you. Certainly some of those roadways are going to be uh, in some trouble. As we look at the radar right now, the bulk of the heavy rainfall all offshore. Look at some of that moving into areas like Charleston as well as into Cape Hatteras. The boundary system is now really just kind of hugging the land. As we look down towards Florida, more of that lightning getting really impressive right along 75. As we zoom in a bit more, we kind of show you what's going on. We add in the system. Look what it is. We have a cold front just in the northern parts of Florida. It seems like it's been that way over the weekends, over the last couple weeks, just not ending the summer out very nice. Today, scattered storms, if you see it in the green, that means you're going to be looking at the wet conditions for tomorrow. Scattered storms once again, hungering that boundary. Charleston, the same for you. And then we jump ahead into Wednesday. We're going to see that coverage kind of shrinking, and that's the good news. So we'll keep things drier for parts of South Carolina as well as North Carolina. They really need to dry things out. They want to know what the sun looks like out there. It's yellow, like the shirt I'm wearing, just in case uh, you're not familiar anymore. For Myrtle Beach, 79 degrees on Monday. Notice we continue with the warming trend. Hello to the 90s by Wednesday, and then 82 on Friday once another front passes through. Over to you, Mark. Bright and shining just like your personality is what you meant. It's not just the shirt color. We transition up to the Great Lakes after a weekend without it. Tap water now safe to drink again for several hundred thousand Ohio residents. Algae blooms had been poisoning their water supply. Scott Newell is in Ohio. Scott. Well, after a weekend of having to use bottled water like this for everything from cooking to brushing your teeth, good news for people here in the Toledo area, and that is that Mayor Michael Collins at about 9.30 Eastern time said the water is safe to drink out of the tap. You know, they had gone the entire weekend because of toxins caused by an algae bloom, which got too close to the water intake. That meant the city's water supply was tainted. But the good news is that the recent tests show there's no detectable levels of that toxin anymore in the water system, so the water is safe to drink. And that means people who have used their water in their houses, kept water flowing through their lines, they probably don't have to flush out their lines. But people who have not used the water at all since Saturday or so, good idea to flush out those lines. The city's website has some instructions on how you can do that. Also, they're warning people here not to go out and water your lawn and wash your car right away because that would really tax the city's water system, which hasn't been used quite a while in the last couple of days. Finally, there are some communities like Luna Pier in southern Monroe County, which is in Michigan. They are still under the jurisdiction of the Michigan Health Department, and even though they get their water from the Toledo area, uh, they have to wait until Michigan gives them the okay before they can lift their ban. That's the situation here in Toledo. Now back to you. Thanks, Scott. And believe it or not, we can see that bloom from space. You see that bright green above Toledo? That's the algae. We're back next. What makes Lay's Kitchen different from the rest? We pride ourselves on bold, authentic flavors with the finest ingredients. 
Our vegetables are farm-grown and prepared with the passion they deserve. Tangy peppers unite with the sweetness of tomatoes and onions to create our exquisite mesquite barbecue flavor. The satisfying crunch and rich flavors of Lay's Kettle Cooked Chips. One taste and you're in love. Today we're getting record snowfall. Radars indicate there's been flooding throughout the area. We're getting hail the size of golf balls. Maglite. Turn your light on, America. When I had my first migraine, I was lucky. That sounds crazy, I know, but my mom got migraines, so she knew this would help. Excedra migraine starts to relieve my pain in 30 minutes, plus sensitivity to light, sound, even nausea. Excedra migraine works. Sunday nights, only the Weather Channel drops you into nature's deadliest predicaments and asks, so you think you'd survive? It's coming for us! For eight straight Sundays, a new original series that puts you to the test. Oh my God! So you think you'd survive? Premiering Sunday at 9 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms. High, 85. Chance of rain, 50%. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm or two this evening, otherwise partly cloudy. Low, 76. Chance of rain, 30%. Here's our seven-day outlook. the Weather Channel takes you this far inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, premiering August 18th at 9 on the Weather Channel. Discover Brookside and discover an exciting combination of tastes. Rich dark chocolate covering soft centers flavored with exotic fruit juices. It's chocolate and fruit flavors like you've never experienced before. Discover Brookside. Is your child happy in school? Is the pace too fast or too slow? Does your child need a more advanced or individualized approach? You do have another choice. Online learning from K-12, a full-time alternative to the traditional classroom. Available free as a public school option. Call now for your free information kit to learn more. K-12 has an award-winning curriculum that parents and teachers enthusiastically endorse. I made a switch to online learning because I saw a blossoming of kids' excitement for education. Our state-certified teachers customize lesson plans and guide learning. Kids work at the level that's just right for them, without classroom distractions. And books and supplies are included. The ability to have the online school and still be part of a public school system is priceless. 94% of K-12 parents say their child has benefited academically. Call now or go online for your free information kit. This is Weather Center Live, and my goodness, look at this mess. This, believe it or not, is less than sunny Southern California today. And that was after torrential rains caused severe flooding. Mudslides actually cut off access to more than 2,000 people in two towns in the San Bernardino Mountains, and at least one person has died. This video is from Forest Hills, California, which was absolutely trapped in that deep mud. Storms dumped as much as three and a half inches of rain on those mountains, and all that water flows into the lowest levels. Bulldozers are trying to kind of carve out access to the roads now so people can get in and out of that area once again. And let me tell you, this is a dangerous setup as more rain is a potential here. The western storms are going to be with us through the early portion of the week. Look at what has already occurred, right? 
here in northern Arizona, about six inches of rain in one day. This is the area of California near where we saw those mudslides. Uh, radar estimates over three inches of rain there. And you know what? This rain, it's still going to be with us. So flash flood watches are in place. The same system is slowly making its way from Nevada into Utah. So from Vegas to Salt Lake City, you could be next. Some of those hills in the outlying areas, if you get a downpour rain, you could see flash flooding and mudslides. That's why these flash flood watches are in place. The center of our low, which is actually pulling in all this moisture and helping to really invigorate the monsoon, is now here. But the thing was, over the past several days, it was off the coast and, and kind of out of the way. And we wish it was still there because it was this low that came in across Southern California, kicked up those storms, and is now moving into the Great Basin. And we can actually see a big loop of these storms. Uh, look at all this rain and thunderstorm activity for the California mountains. And then it moved into Arizona. Look at all this rain. That's where you got almost six inches of rain over portions of Arizona. And now that same low is in Nevada. So from Nevada into Utah, there is that chance of flash flooding. So Las Vegas from today into tonight, a hit or miss thunderstorms and any storm could really put down some nasty amounts of rain. We're going to still be seeing scattered storms not only today but over the next several days and so Salt Lake City your turn comes in especially Tuesday. Jen over to you. All right well more evacuations are possible in Northeast California as a pair of wildfires burn. Eight homes are gone and a hospital had to be evacuated this weekend. NBC's Miguel Amaguer is on the ground to bring us the latest on the effort to stop these fires. The West was hammered over the weekend wildfires here in Oregon while in California not just fires but also floods. Take a look at the video outside of San Bernardino County. Extreme pictures, monsoonal thunderstorms poured mud and debris into the community of Oak Glen. The town of 1500 basically cut into two. One person was killed, up to a thousand people were stranded. First responders also performed water rescues. California is in the middle of a state of emergency. 14 major wildfires are burning all across the state. The conditions there, those drought conditions, ripe for wildfires. Crews from across the West are battling blazes. Here in Oregon, the Gulch Fire, one of the largest wildfires in state history, has charred some 50 square miles. This fire straddling both California and Oregon. 300 structures are threatened. Six homes have been destroyed. Today, they're going to depend on the air attack behind me. It's going to be a tough day for firefighters in the air and on the ground. Now back to you. All right, that is Miguel Amaguer reporting on the dangers of the fires across parts of Northern California. You know, it seems like they just can't get rain where they need the rain. And then, of course, it pours where areas they don't need it. Mark. Yeah, too much of a good thing, that's for sure. And now, Tropical Storm Bertha. Well, no more Tropical Storm. Now, Hurricane Bertha. We're going to be checking in on that activity in the tropics next. We have Hurricane Bertha and several storms in the Pacific right now. And you know what? Folks in Hawaii could be at risk. Plus, temperatures rising back to their summer norms this week, especially in the south. See how hot your town will get after they're your local on the 8th. Ours is a world of passengers. The red eyes. I'm really tired. The transfers. Well, that's kid number three. The co-pilots. All sitting. Trusting. Waiting. Uh -huh. For a safe arrival. Introducing the all-new Subaru Legacy. Designed to help the driver and you care for the passenger and them. The Subaru Legacy. It's not just a sedan. It's a Subaru. Admit it, you never thought you'd see this day. The day you could walk without shooting pain in your back. All because you took the first step and had surgery at Laser Spine Institute. The experts in outpatient minimally invasive neck and back surgery. All it takes is an incision less than one inch and you'll be up and walking within a few hours of surgery and there is no lengthy recovery. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with spinal stenosis, bulging or herniated disc, sciatica or other chronic conditions, call today for a free MRI review. And when I had that back surgery, I had immediate relief. I was 100% pain-free. Don't do what I did. Don't wait. Take your life back. If you've been told you might need neck or back surgery, call 1-855-543-STEP for a free MRI review. Go from a life of pain to a lifetime of living. Laser Spine Institute, the leader in minimally invasive spine surgery. This summer, save your Monday nights. Rebel! 
The Coast Guard is back. Look off to your starboard side. And you can only find them on the Weather Channel. Woo! Tonight at 9. Oh, God. Let us sail boat high. When you run a business, you can't settle for slow. That's why I always choose the fastest intern, the fastest printer, the fastest lunch, turkey club, the fastest pencil sharpener, the fastest elevator, the fastest speed dial, the fastest office plant. So why wouldn't I choose the fastest Wi-Fi? I would. Switch to Comcast Business Internet and get the fastest Wi-Fi included. Comcast Business. Built for business. The Indian River Lagoon is 156 miles long, representing recreation, fishing, and nearly 20,000 Florida jobs. Last summer, because of dumping in Lake Okeechobee, the lagoon turned green and murky. I call it a disaster. So we pulled together to stop the dumping with record funding that will protect this vital resource and our jobs. Joe Negron had it in his heart to do what's right for this lagoon. It's our future. Joe Negron, coming through for us. Parents have counted on us. So call or order online at 1 800 petmeds.com today. America's Morning Headquarters with Sam Champion. Not just a morning forecast, a morning show. AMHQ with Sam Champion, the Weather Channel's brand new morning show. Stay tuned for your local on the 8, brought to you by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. In the nation, the safest feature in your car is you. Add vanishing deductible from Nationwide Insurance and get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Which for you, shouldn't be a problem. Just another way we put members first, because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. Currently in our area, 86 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, Tonight, isolated thunderstorms this evening. Skies will become partly cloudy after midnight. Low, 76. Here's our seven-day outlook. to Weather Center Live. This is not what you want to see out your window when you're on a Caribbean vacation. This is actually video of Bertha as it moved through the Caribbean as a tropical storm. Now, since then, it has been upgraded. We do know now that it is a hurricane, and you can see the winds whipping around as well as the rain coming down. Now, the rain was actually beneficial. Many of these parts of the Virgin Islands and the Caribbean, they are dealing with a severe drought, so they needed that rainfall. But we update you on Hurricane Bertha. Yes, this is the latest right now. It's located about 230 miles to the east northeast of Great Abaco Island. The winds at 80 miles per hour moving to the north at 17. Pressure 998 millibars. So not a lot of change in the pressure. But as we look at the satellite imagery and kind of show you, it was certainly much more impressive before. You could see the taller thunderstorms out there. You can see the color of the imagery there uh, has since changed over to more orange and yellow. Not the bright red that we were seeing before. All the rain you're seeing along parts of the southeast, that's all associated with the stationary front. Now we track this out for you. Yes, a category one still going to be a category one tomorrow morning with 80 mile per hour winds. And then we'll see some weakening in the evening, dropping it down to about 75 miles per hour tomorrow. It's going to be halfway between the U.S. coast as well as Bermuda. And then it's going to be moving in that northeasterly direction away from the U.S. And that is certainly what we like to see as we track it out through the future. By Wednesday, we're going to feel some of the effects on the coastal areas of parts of the northeast as well as New England. Thursday, here
here's Newfoundland. And again, by then, we're going to see it just continuing to weaken, losing its tropical and really becoming extra tropical. We talk about the wave forecast because that's really going to be the greatest impact for the U.S. Notice anywhere you're seeing in blue, two to five feet. So don't go out there in the water trying to catch some of these waves. Charleston, Wilmington, this is tomorrow morning, five to eight. And you can see closer to the center of circulation. And then we go through tomorrow evening, still looking for areas like the Outer Banks, waves two to five feet. Certainly that's going to be leading to the problems with some rip currents and certainly rough surf out there. So stay out of the water if you can. Now, this is Hurricane Ezel. This is a big one out there. This is a Category 4 pressure, 947, moving to the west at 10 miles per hour. The winds, of course, we're saying a Category 4. Look how impressive this is. This is actually a beautiful hurricane. You can see the center, the eye there, very symmetrical. Well, the good news is it is going to be weakening, but the problem is it's going to be moving over Hawaii. We're talking the big island of Hilo as well as the other islands. And then notice by Thursday, weather conditions really going downhill, bringing the rough waves out there, and then eventually making its way likely as a very strong tropical storm. But it's going to be impacting the whole area. We'll continue to follow that. And in the Pacific, Typhoon Halong. Over to you, Mark. Thanks, Jen. And you know what? We have to look live now at Atlanta. Look at that cityscape, right? Looking out over Centennial Olympic Park and into downtown. A hot day in Atlanta. Already well into the 80s. You'll be approaching 90 today. And that's just the beginning as we are going to see a slow but steady warming over the southeastern United States. We've been seeing cool air in that trough of low pressure, the northerly winds, but that's saying goodbye. Now we've got the southerly flow returning, and that's going to bring the warmth back up here through the midweek. For today, close to 90 in Atlanta. Atlanta, the cooler for the Appalachian chain, but everyone else is already heating up and then even the mountains start to cook. Tomorrow in Atlanta, 91, Nashville, 94. You get into the mid 90s from Memphis to Nashville on Wednesday and almost everyone will be in the low to mid 90s here across the southeast. And this isn't all that atypical for this time of year. You expect to see temps in the 90s. It's just unfortunate because this is when everyone's gone back to school in places like Atlanta. Schools are open, so if your school doesn't have the AC working tomorrow, 91. Wednesday, 93. By Thursday, 94. That's now 5 to 6 degrees or so above average, and you really start to feel that change. Jen, over to you. All right. Well, it's another stormy day out there to start off the work week. We are tracking thunderstorms for several regions across the country. Find out if you should watch for showers in your neck of the woods and a massive ban and one city's drinking water finally lifted. We're going to go live in Toledo, Ohio to see what's next for people now that the water is flowing once again. But ooh, look at all that green stuff out there. Yikes.